All right, let's talk about homeowners associations. Some people love them, uh, other people not so much. They yeah. hate them. Yeah. Well, one Ventura County senior says her HOA is going after her for something that was done nearly two decades ago. CBS 2's investigator Christine Lazar is here to explain this. I think we've all probably at one point or another dealt with an HOA, lived mm -hmm. with an HOA, or yep. living with an living HOA. With and there's a lot of pros, but there are some cons as well. <laughs> now, the goal of an HOA is to keep a community looking nice, but that does come at a price. If you drive down this street in Oxnard, one of the nicest homes you'll find belongs to retiree Francis Parnell. She's often out front pruning her landscape. I love my neighborhood. I love my home. So you can imagine her shock when she opened this letter from the HOA telling her that her home was upgraded without approval and she was now facing a $500 reoccurring fine. I felt like the more I spoke with them or went to visit them that I was being bullied. At issue, the stone overlay on her front doorstep. Francis and her husband had it installed when they moved in. 18 years ago. And had anybody over those 18 years said anything to you about it? Not once, never. But in the letter, the HOA says the Parnells didn't get the modification approved by the HOA nearly two decades ago, so it has to go. I want to keep it. I love it. You know, everybody that comes to my house says, oh, I like what you've done. So you certainly don't think it's an eyesore? Oh, no. Francis says the HOA told her that they used to drive the neighborhood, so they didn't notice her stone patio, and now they walk it. But the distance between the road and the sidewalk is only about 10 feet, and there's nothing obstructing their view. In California, the courts have ruled that HOAs must enforce violations of the CCNRs within five years from when the date of the violation was discovered or through the exercise of reasonable diligence should have been discovered. The HOA had plenty of opportunity for years and years to identify this restriction or this violation. Art Golian is an attorney who represents homeowners in cases against HOAs. You also have to keep in mind that this HOA board could have turned over several times. There could have been boards that knew and didn't care, and now there's a board that knows and might care. The point is that the HOA is still one entity. Do you buy that they said they couldn't see it from the street, no. but could see it from walking? No. Francis's next door neighbor got the same letter. He added tile to his patio at the same time she modified hers. I don't know why you removed after 18 years. Francis says she got two estimates to rip out the stone, each about $2,500. She's a widow now and lives on a fixed income. I think that's outrageous for something to destroy something that looks so nice. Now, the management company that works for the HOA, Lorden, did not return any of my phone calls or my emails, and there were several. But the attorney featured in this story is now working with Francis to help her fight what she sees as an unjust attack on her home. You know, I want to say something, and, and uh, good luck to you, Ms. Francis. But in, in terms of the gentleman that lives next door with a son that has a disabil disability, I mean, right. maybe that improvement was made to make it easier for his son to walk? I don't know. Does that mean anything? Well, he made the improvement before his son. I, I didn't mention that in the piece, but the, the man next door has a son with a traumatic brain injury. He's caring for an adult son. So these are people who don't have a lot of expendable income. And, you know, the reason that they originally modified those French porches is they said the builder who made their homes when they moved in 18 years ago didn't do good cement work. So it was kind of they discolored and didn't look good. So they were like, well, let's make an improvement. It was 18 years ago. No one said anything. And in fact, Francis said her husband may have filed an architectural approval. Approval, he's yeah. passed away, so she can't check with him. And the HOA can't prove that he didn't. Right, and it's been 18 years. Exactly. So if you had a problem with it, you should have noticed it 18 years ago. So now she's got an attorney, she's working with him, and hopefully they back off. Because I will say it looks really nice. I get it if she painted her house, you know, bright orange yeah. or something. I hope it I hope it works out for both of them. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Christine. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Christine. Can Tour on Your Side help you? Email two on your side at CBS.com. Tell us about your problem or tweet us and you can use the hashtag two on your side. Christine will see what she can do to help you out.